let's let's check something here. If I if I make x five, what would y have to be right here? If I make x five, 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 what would y have to be? White, white, five, zero. White, one, zero. No. I don't know. White. Yeah. <laughs> zero. 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 Okay, if x is five, <laughs> yep. what, would this, what would this be? 25. Uh, it would have to be zero. No, it would be 25. It would be 25. Oh, okay. So zero. zero. So y would have to be zero. 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 But, come oh. on! Huh? Okay, so this, is so this is five. If x is five, oh, five squared is 25. Oh. Plus what equals twenty five. Okay. Oh. If y is five, zero. what would x have to be? Zero. Okay. Oh. If x is negative five, what would y have to be? Negative uh, zero. Zero. What's negative five squared? Uh, <laughs> positive <laughs> one. Positive twenty five, so this would have to be negative one. Zero. Okay. Zero. Uh, if y is negative 5 <gasps> squared, it's 25, so I think 0. So, if I graph all those points, yeah, put that there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You get a circle. Yeah. Or a square, a square. What shape do you guys think this is? A box. Like? A box. A oh, square. Oh. Did you guys just say a box, bro? Okay. They got boxes. Turns out I didn't count the five over here. That's what I looked wrong. Okay. Hush. This equation creates a circle when you graph it. I knew it. Okay. Now, what is the radius of the circle? Five. Oh, wait. Okay, <laughs> zero, zero is the center. The radius is five, because it's five to the edges. So how do you think this equation gives us the radius? Um, five. Because five. Oh, okay, it's like the square root of this number. Okay, so in a circle <laughs> equation, it'll be like x squared plus y squared. The square root of this number gives us the radius. Okay, the center of this one is at zero, zero. But how can we move the center of the circle? Okay, what does this do to a graph when I put a minus one on it? Up. Down. It's on the edge. Okay, let's go back in time. Once upon a time last year, we graphed parabolas. <laughs> You guys remember parabolas? It goes right, it goes right for negative oh, one. What did this do to the graph? Right one. Three. Right one? Yep. Up, up three. Up, up three. three. Up, yeah. This moved it right one. So when it's directly on the x, it affects the right left motion, but it does the opposite. So minus one actually moves it right one. And the plus three, yeah, that moves it up three. Okay, so what's gonna what's this gonna do to the circle? Right one. Right one. Okay. Um, so this is right one. So it's kind of the opposite. And then, what do you guys think this plus two is going to do there? Right one. Okay. A plus three. A plus three over here is down. Is a what on the other side? It's a minus three on this side. So when it's directly on the y, a minus 3 actually means up. up 3. So when it's directly on the y, it does the opposite. So a plus 2 would actually go down, down 2. Do it. Do it. So the center of this circle would be right 1, down 2. So it would be at 1, negative 2. That's the center. And the radius of the circle would be what? 16. Oh, the square root 4? 4. Square root of 16, radius would be 4. Okay? So, if we had to graph it, 
you go to one negative two, that's the center, and then you just go four in every direction. So four up, four left, four right, four down. Why do you curve it instead of just making it a line? Because it's, if I plugged in like uh, X is two, I would get like a decimal right there. I wouldn't get, I wouldn't get like a one. I would get like something up here. Okay. It just makes, it just makes a circle. Um, these just come out nice and neat, but all these are like weird decimal numbers, but it just curves. So how do you know to go down here? Okay, y is up and down, right? The y x goes up. And down. But it, um, it kind of does the opposite of what it says. So instead of going up two here, it goes down two. Instead of going left one, this goes right one. So notice, you guys see the pattern? It's minus one, positive one, plus two, negative two. So they're just opposites. So you find the opposite? This coordinates for the center are going to be like the opposite of these values. Uh -huh. And the radius is going to be the square root of that. Okay. Okie dokie. So, number one says, um, write the equation of the circle centered at C with radius R. So it says C is at 0, 0. And the radius is 25. It's a little bit tricky. So if the center is at zero, zero, what's the first part of the equation going to look like? X minus zero. Okay. Well, what's the same thing as X minus zero? Uh, just, X zero. Squared. just X squared. Okay, you guys remember my first example? Just X squared plus Y squared equals 25. The center was at... Zero, zero. Okay. So if the center's at zero, zero, we don't need, you don't need to print these because it's not moving right or left. So it's just x squared plus y squared. Okay, equals what? No. So what goes right here? No. The radius. Squared. So 25 squared, not 50. 625. I'm ready to go home. Yo, Shane. Alright, so anyway, that's it. Okay, number three. Center is at negative two zero and the radius is four point four. Okay, so if the center is at negative two, that's like the left two, right? So what do I put for my equation? X plus X plus two squared plus Y squared. Y squared. Y squared. Equals point four times point four. Remember when you multiply decimals, you just do four times four, but then you have two decimal places, so it's point sixteen. All right. Center is at three negative one and two squared. Alright. So if the center is at three negative one, what am I gonna put? X minus three. X minus three squared plus y plus one. Y plus one. Wait, how do you know it's uh, the opposite? Oh yeah. Okay, equals what? Um, okay, if you put this in your calculator, why would it be wrong? Because it's not zero. 
It only squares, yeah, it does order of operations. It does exponent before multiply. So how would you have to do it? Like this. Okay, what is two squared? Four. What's square root of three squared? Three. So it's just four times three. still writing an equation, but uh, we're just looking at the graph to write the equation. So let's kind of start with like they did on number one. What's the center of number seven? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Zero, five. What is the radius two. for number seven? Two. From the center of the circle to the edge is two units. Okay, so we're just going to use that to write the equation. So if we're starting at 0, 5, what am I going to put? X plus squared. X squared plus X minus 5. Equals squared. Squared. Okay, on number nine, where's the center? Um, negative four. four, negative one. No, negative four, negative one. Okay, what is the radius? Three. 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 From the center to the edge, three over. Okay. It's, uh, uh, it's positive four, negative one. Those no, it's left yeah. four is those negative four. Wait, what? Four. Left four is negative four. It doesn't go left, it goes right. Okay, are you looking at number nine? Oh, no, I was looking at, oh, okay, okay, okay. I was looking at okay, <laughs> if the center is at negative 4, negative 1. You do x plus 4. X plus 4. Squared. Squared plus. Y. Y plus 1 squared equals 9. Okay, okay, I get this, I get this. Glad you did it, because now we're switching it up. Oh. oh. Down, you're gonna be nice and just call it quits there. <laughs> I wouldn't ever do that. Actually. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, it takes me forever, Mr. Jordan. You're not like I'm not. Yeah, that's why I don't like this game. Yeah, it's just too much. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's the radius? Two. 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 Guys, hush. Okay, <laughs> number eleven. Oh so, my gosh, Mr. Uh, it's not hard. <laughs> Shh, hush. Where are you guys all looking at number eleven? Oh, yep. Sure. What is the center of number eleven going to be? Two. Negative two. Zero. The center for number 11 is going to be at negative 2, 0. The radius is going to be what? For number 8? Three. 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 3. Square root of 9. It's kind of the opposite of number 9, right? Radius is 3. So we're just going to use those two facts to help us graph. So negative 2, 0 is the center right there. And the radius is... Three, so we're gonna go three in every direction. Okay, you can't really go three diagonal. I mean, it won't. We'll end up in a weird spot. So. Man, this is easy. 
I'm gonna come around and judge your soul somehow. <laughs> Don't come over here. Yet. <laughs> How good your circles are. Dude, all you have to do is draw like three oh, lines. Shut up, <laughs> Like five dots. That was just, it was better than mine. I'm not done yet. <laughs> She'll be done in about five minutes. Yeah. Math is so good. We should have a time limit on these. Well, shut up. <laughs> Alright, Lennox is the one to beat. I'm thinking. You beat Timothy. Oh, <laughs> I'm just oh, thinking what the heck you made. Lennox got gotcha. you. For what? Oh, what? I ran out of the winnings. No way winnings beat me. <laughs> Two seconds, that's all it took. Lennox definitely beat me. I can't on it. Jimmy, you drew the box. <laughs> Lennox gets the championship. Lennox, hold yours up. Jimmy drew a box. I did draw a box. Alright. Uh, <laughs> I'm still figuring out how we did it. I was drawing my own. Still? I'm so yeah. well, you're so like so puzzled. Yeah, you just, yeah. No, she's I'm puzzled what to do. Okay, you go to negative two zero, that's your center. And then you go three in every direction. Oh. Uh, three in all directions. That was a nice beat. Alright. Okay. Alright, 13 just says x squared plus y squared equals. Oh, look at that. Shh. <laughs> No. Too late, we're moving on. <clears throat> All right, so where's the center for 13 going to be? Uh, zero, zero. Zero, zero. Yeah, wait. But what is the radius? Oh, boy. That would be a Seven. tough question. Well, that's part of it. Seven square root of... Two and over two. Seven over two. Yep. What's seven divided by two? 3.5. 3.5. So, three and a half. Wait, 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 wait. Did I copy this wrong? Yeah. Oh, I copied it wrong. I was like, I don't remember that from the other period. This is supposed to be 49 over 9. Okay, so now what's the radius? 7 over 30. Okay, what's 7 divided by 3? 2 with the remainder of 1. So it's... Two and one third. So two and one third would be, you know, you go past two about one third of the way to three. It's about two point three. Repeat. Two point three three. I'm gonna try that this time. Two and a third. Is it third? A third is less than, because one is less than half of three. It's like if you split some into three, you're only doing one of them. So, so it's less than half. Less than half way. Mr. Jordan, you don't look at it. Don't worry about 11. <laughs> Pretend 11's not there. Yeah, that's not right. there. Alright, pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. The bottom right corner isn't perfect. Stop. That, that one. Bro, Don't you it. That's a perfect circle to me. I just made a perfect circle. I'm not done yet. How? Perfect. I don't like my life. Timmy. It's a perfect one. No, mine's more perfect. Mine's like a full max scope. <laughs> So they changed the name. Or just Ryan, I think. You stole. Thieves. Wait, is this the only one we've had to do? Uh, 10 through 14. So there's three even. But I mean, after that. What about 15? Yeah. 15, yeah, 15. 15 is not a graph, it's just a word problem. Okay, 15. Once engineers determine the ideal position for a new cell phone tower. <laughs> Uh, a circular search area centered at the location 
is usually given to a real estate agent. This radius of the targeted search area is typically one-fourth of the radius of the planned coverage area. You guys follow what they're saying? Basically, they said if they're going to plant a new cell phone tower, somebody has to go out and check like the area around it. Uh, and the area that they check is like one-fourth the radius of how far the coverage of the tower sh should be. Um, a new tower with a coverage radius of four miles. Okay, so if the tower has a coverage area of four miles, four mile radius, that means from the center it should be able to reach like four miles out. Okay, but if the real estate agent is only going to do one fourth of that, how far is the real estate agent going to be? One. One. One fourth of four miles is one mile. So they're only going to go, you know, like that far. One, one mile radius. Okay, um, let me keep reading. A new, tower, a new tower with a coverage radius of four miles would ideally be located at 4-2 on a mapped grid where each unit represents 0.1 miles. Okay, if on our grid each unit is 0.1 miles, um, how far would we need to go to get to one mile? 10. 10. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Well, we're not graphing it. We're just writing a form. So, so, through 14 is only graphing? No. Yeah, 10 through 14 is only graphs. Okay, so A is one mile, right? So A, what is the radius of the real estate search area? One mile. One mile. One mile. Since the, the tower is supposed to cover four mile radius, the real estate agent is going to search around one mile. Okay, B. What's the equation of the circle that defines the search area? Okay, they told us basically that the center was at 4, 2 on the little map that they made. Yeah. Um, now, the radius is one mile, but on the graph, what's the radius? If we're counting by point ones. Point. Four. Okay, point if the radius two. is one, but we're only counting by point ones, how far out are we going to have to go? Ten. So on the map, because we're counting by point ones, the radius will actually be like ten units. Okay? Because each unit on the map is like a point one mile. Okay, so that's the little, that's the info, and then we just plug it into the formula. So if we're at 4, 2, what are we going to do? X plus 4. No. X minus 4 X squared. X minus 4 squared plus Y minus 4 squared. Equals. Equals 100. You only do that because I don't know. You know what? All right. Number 17. Okay, so on 17, it's giving us a the center of the circle, just like always, but it's the other thing it's giving us is not the radius, but a point on the circle that they call P. So let me do a little visual here. So on 17, it says the center is at six negative four. So, oh. so one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Okay, there's the center. And it says P is on the circle at zero, zero is on the circle. So what would the circle look like? Something like that, right? This is the center. P is on the circle, so it looks something like that. 
Well, they didn't tell us the radius, right? right. We know the center, that's no problem. But how do we find the radius? You have to count to the side. Okay, we could find out. No, that's slow. Diagonal? The radius? Or you could just find count, the point, count, count to P. Count to find P, so that's zero, zero. And what you do is you go, um, um, would it not be slow? Like no, we don't need slow. We need how long this line is. Oh, uh, the radius of a circle. Oh, my God. No ideas? You go... You count down and then go over and then... <laughs> okay, count down and... No, we're not doing slow. That doesn't tell us what we need. Oh, it's a triangle. And then you <laughs> pass that. Okay, it's four down and six over. How could I find this? Oh, four squared plus six squared equals x squared. Oh, I hate it when it ties together. <laughs> I hate when it ties to um, Now, this one's a little bit easier because this point is at zero, zero. There's actually an easier way, well, there's a formula to find the distance between two points. You guys remember the distance formula? Uh, actually, let's go ahead and finish this. 16 plus 36 is 52. So what do we do? Y root. Square root of 52 Seven, is like Seven, 2 point. squared of 13. Okay. So, where you do so the right? center they just told us was at 6, six negative 4. And the radius is 2 squared of 13. So what we're supposed to do is write an equation just like the other problem. So what's the equation going to look like? Okay, that squared. Well, remember this was just like the square root of 52, right? No. Okay, so what's that square root of 52 squared gonna be? No. 52. So, kinda didn't really need a square root. It's, the square root is the radius, but really we need the radius squared. So really we need the 52 right there. Okay, so back to my question earlier, instead of like drawing a picture and like counting the rise or the, like making a triangle, how, how can we find the distance between two points? Is it x squared plus y squared over two? No, that, no. X plus x, well, that's, oh. just, that's just a combo of a few different formulas. <laughs> so, the distance formula. Oh, x plus x, x minus x yeah. squared plus y minus y squared. Yeah, that tells you how far. It's basically the Pythagorean theorem, like x minus x is like this side of the triangle, and y minus y is like this side of the triangle. You square them and add them together and square root, that's the Pythagorean theorem. But So then you can do that like if it's not... So you don't need a picture to figure it out, you just plug stuff in. So that's what we're going to do in 19. So on 19 the center is negative 11, 8. Can we stop here? Nope. For real? Nope. Let's stop. You said Oh, the P is at negative 6, negative 4. Okay. So if we can find the different distance between the center and a point on the circle, that would give us the radius. So I'm going to use the distance formula. You guys remember how this works? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Negative 11 minus negative 6 squared plus negative, or 8 minus negative 4. And then the square root of all that. So that's like, uh, what? 25 plus 144 is 169, so the radius is 13.
Okay, so we got our two facts that we need. We have the center and the radius. So what's my equation going to be? Thirteen squared is six point like something. No, no, so not squared at thirteen. Thirteen squared goes down there. It's gonna be bigger. So it's just that because the square root of one sixty nine is thirteen. Therefore, thirteen squared is one sixty nine. So anyway. Oh no, I'm out of room. Oh no. Uh oh, I still need to look at the answer. <laughs> Then square root of 328. Well, I'm not going to simplify it because we got to unsimplify it here in a second. So, centers at 5, negative 3. What am I going to write? Yeah, we will we'll skip. We'll skip twenty-two. I was gonna. 